So let's discuss how we would uh, start. And you could choose either Idaglira or Iglarlixi, remembering the, the maximum dose, but that's not an issue here. You could go to 50 or 60 units. What I would do if you're going to use this is discontinue her basal insulin. If a patient was on GLP-1 receptor agonist, we would discontinue it and you would dose based on the one you choose. So for example, if you chose Idaglira, you'd start with 16 units and gradually up titrate. If you chose Glargine, uh, which she's actually already taking, you would choose 15 units and gradually up titrate. And you would give Idaglira at the same time every day because Lixisenatide has very powerful postprandial effects, I would give it with, before the first meal of the day. Now the titration could be based on how you would titrate the insulin. So with the Degludec, you do that every three to four days. Patient is above target, go up by two units. If they're below, you'd go, go down a little bit. With Glargine, it's variable. Some people do it weekly. Some people do it every three to four days. I think we have some flexibility there. Bear in mind that there's a maximum dose. You could go up to 50 and 1.8 for Idaglira. Uh, or, or 60 with, of Glargine and 20 of Lixisenatide with Iglarlixi. My feeling is that that's going to be adequate for a patient like this. She did reasonably on 22 units, but just needed a bit more, and it will help control her weight as well. Would you agree with that, John? I would. And I think that, like you said, because she's on a relatively low dose of her basal insulin, that her chances for success are, are really good. And I think this would have a patient coming back in three months, probably at target goal for her A1C, and hopefully happy that you've uh, sort of spared her insulin dose maybe a little bit and she's lost a little weight. 